going on, everybody? This is John Bain. What a welcome you to Subnautica. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to remind you all to grab the crystalline sulfur when you try the first time. <laughs> also, don't want you to forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because here we are, back with some more Subnautica. And um, I'm actually, I've actually got some things prepared for us, but I wanted to come back and get some of this crystalline sulfur because all we had was the powdered or whatever it's called one, and we needed, uh, we need more of it for a good upgrade. So. Since we already had found it, I figured I'd go ahead and get over and get it going. Is that gold? That's gold. I remember the gold here. Um, get it going so we could have a decent amount. Um, and then that way we can go back to the base and prep up some things to make explorations a little bit easier. Um, it, you know, I've been kind of hesitant on using something else. We're going to get that all set up, get our forward base a little bit more set up. But again, I wanted to get a good amount of crystalline sulfur because we need it. And I can grab it the first time. I can do this, I believe. Yes! Oh, that's great. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to be uh, doing a couple things today. Like I said, getting set up for some explorations and maybe getting some more explorations done. I feel like this is the key component that I need to have, though, done here is just to have this because uh, I'd like to have that jump modifier um, and making sure we have everything, you know, as needed as possible. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. And it seems like there's a plentiful amount. I don't want to check how much I've gotten already because, you know, I'll burn an acid pretty much so we don't want to burn an acid because that's bad you know also getting destroyed by things is bad too there we go look at that that's really nice but yeah so i'm excited we're gonna get some more stuff done today i just want to say hi to you while i was gathering this you can see him gathering we're doing the gathering and then we'll meet back at the base so um already you guys hold on all right, welcome back. We have made it back without too much of a problem. I did end up scanning one of the pieces of sulfur back at the base, uh, the outpost, if you will, and um, then you just had to get some more sulfur just to make it a little bit quicker. I hadn't got any yet when we first started the episode. Now I've then I was going to scan it in the brine pools because that's death. Um, so let's look at something right quick. We are looking. At, it's actually not this modification station. It's the other one over here. And let's see. I can do the jump thing, right? Jump jet. So just nickel ore, titanium, and lithium. Also, uh, I've already prepped up a bunch of other mats already to get some of the other things I was talking about getting done. So, and I hate using this way. The, I just hate how that works for that. Um, and I've already a uh, nickel ore, titanium, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been one of those days. I'll be honest. It's been one of those days, but we're good. I'm good, and I'm glad to be here. Lithium. Okay, so we need some more titanium. I think I have the other tiny titanium in here for another reason, so we'll grab five more right quick. One, two, three, four, and we can't, so let's find a hole to throw some of this in. Here's a great hole, because there's some sulfur already in this hole. Let's keep some of this, though. Let's just do three, three I think we need. Alright, and what, which one was grabbing from this one? Uh, uh, sure, that was enough. Okay. And then we need the, uh, let's see, five of them, yeah, and then two nickel ore and one lithium. Where did I put the, I put the nickel ore upstairs, upstairs, upstairs right, in the storage? That's, oh, we need that, so that's a good find, okay. That's diamonds. That's magnetite. Oh, I put it behind me, didn't I? Oops, wrong button. Wait, that's it right there. All right, and two nickel ore, wasn't it? There we go. We have enough. Let's get this thing done. Uh, it. Right over here. Let's go over here. Let's get this module. Let's shove it in the hole. And I think this mixed with the uh, two grappling arms is going to increase like mobility. We'll have a the probably the best mobility we're going to get out of this suit. One of those are stackable. Let's go over here. Let's not go in there. There we go. And let's put you in the hole. Oops. God dang it. I keep doing that. I'm just like, each key is like different for keys and stuff sometimes. So let's check out this thing right quick. Oh, I feel like it's much faster. <laughs> wow, we got all the way to the surface and up higher. Holy crap, man. So that we can probably get about a 100 meter jump. Let's go to a spot where we have 100 meters. See if we can get to the surface with it. Do we go up from here? Okay, so the actual jump itself is what, like the initial lift off, I think, and then our momentum gets us there. So we're at 100 right now. Full charge, let's go. 
If we can go up 100 meters at a time, that's pretty badass. And it looks like we can go even more than 100 meters. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, don't grab the fishy. Okay. Almost. And we're under. And we're under. And we're under. Okay, cool. So there's some other things I want to get done too today. Uh, I already, like I said, I have a box already full of stuff. Let's do this. Actually, I could just jump up there now. Oh my God, this jump is amazing. I'm very happy about that. So what do we have? We have a, a mixture of things. I have. I want to put in a battery charger and a power cell charger back at the the new outpost, and then also we're gonna put like a medical fabricator, a regular fabricator, some Cyclops depth module or a pair module, and make some decoys um, for the Cyclops. So let's go into here and see if we. I have the stuff on me right now to make the decoys. We're gonna do. I think we can. It says times three, so I put three in my inventory. It does, and I can load two, one right now, and we're gonna make an, we're gonna do the expansion. So I put this locker up, so I could have all the stuff I needed to make the stuff that I needed. Uh, I did grab some extra stuff too, I don't need to be carrying around. Let's go ahead and drop this off. Put this away, we have the creature stuffs in here. Um, I don't think I need the crystal on me, or I don't know about the titanium. I don't really need to be carrying around that torpedo arm right now. I probably hate myself for this, but let's just do that. And for now, I'm going to put away the food so I can have space in my inventory to grab things. Okay, let's do that. Let's go over here. Let's grab you and just, let's see. Uh, I don't remember what's what for what I was doing what with, so what can I get done on here? I can probably grab it all, can I? Very nice. Okay, cool. So we have two repair guns. One's needed to make the repair bay in it, in the um, lovely... Oh, there's another fishy. And the lovely Cyclops, the Bobby slash IE, Bob slash, oh, anyway. <laughs> and I didn't realize they actually had already storage put in here. Uh, I'm used to having, having to add my own completely, so that was kind of neat. These are a little bit more shallow. So let's see if I can do this still then. I, I know I don't need to, I, I don't have the mats on me to forward to that. Okay, we can do this then. Oh, that's very nice then. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and go up here. Here, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is get some of the modules done. So let's go to this module here. Now I don't want to put a, a, a recharger on the Cyclops because I'm pretty. Sh I think one of the comments also said, but I, I thought beforehand that it would suck up the power. What? Wait, oops, repair bay. It would suck up the power for um, the. Is that the depth module? That's the other thing I need from from the actual ship, and I don't want to do that. I, I really don't. I'd rather. It, it kind of, I don't know, I just feel like that's a bad idea, you know, because you know, you're in the middle of stuff and you don't know what's going to happen, you know, you, I don't want to be like, oh god, I'm low on power already. Death module, check. Repair bay, check. Oh, and then we need to make the torpedo bay. What are we missing for that? Tube decoy. There it is. We got that too. Oops, wrong button. It's there, and does that, that probably goes in here. Not there. <laughs> does it go in here? It does. Okay. So we've upgraded the decoy tube as well. Let's see how this looks. Oh, so there it can actually hold way more. Okay, that's actually really nice then. I didn't I thought it'd be like one more. That's actually I'm not mad at that at all. I'm not mad at that at all. So that's there, and we can probably make a couple more decoys for the launcher. Let's see something though. I want to make the fabricator. I'm going to make a fabricator in here, and we're going to make a medical fabricator in here. I think I'm going to see if I can put the medical one behind this. We can. So if we put, like, let's say right here. Okay, and then let's try uh, the, the, the fabricator, the regular one. And there we go. So we have two fabricators. We have the medical one now. It should start making stuff for us. We have this one that should be doing good. So use fabricator and medical kit. And it's, it's, it's good. It's making it now. So that's in here. I feel like that's a good little combo to have. And we have the repair bay thing for whatever we pull in here. So let's let's get out and try and grab our Cyclops and see what the, and the Cyclops put our uh, prawn suit. 
and see what's going on with that. So let's go to you. And now that I know I can jump and stuff, it's not really an issue to get up in there. Okay, inner prawn suit. Let's go over this way. God dang, that's way easier. Now we should just be able to pop in this. We did. Very nice. Awesome. And can we get to the stuff on it? We can't. Oh, we can from probably down below. And there's a prawn suit. Oh, there's the stuff there. What is this? Oh, this lets me actually change the upgrade models modules here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and then also, I forgot to check. Uh, well, since we put that in, we put the death module in here too, right? Yeah, so we have a depth module. We have a depth module on this. Let's see how far down this can go. 900 meters now. Okay. Okay, so that's not too bad. We have all that stuff. So what I need to do is go jump out, grab some uh, food and water right quick. I don't... Can I put a, a grow thing in here? Let me see. Is there a spot for it? Yeah. Holy crap. Let's try that out too. I don't know if it'll let me do it in here, but... If it considers this a base, then I should be able to grow some plants in here, which would be great. Put some marble melon. Check. Let's go here. And let's go to you. And it should be, isn't it down here? Four titanium. Let's just try it. One, two, three, four. All right. So if I can put this in there, then we'll have food, like, across the board. Let's go in here. Let's go over this way. And then... I saw it green first. Oh, it can, but not, like, in a nice spot. Wait, it'll let me put it on over the hole? Are you serious? That's crazy. And then this would be right in the middle. I wonder if this would be the place to do it if I did it anyway. Let's just try it. Yeah, indoor grow bed, check. So, and I can still access everything. That's crazy, man. <laughs> I could put two in here, honestly, but I don't want to. I, one is enough. I've, I've had one sustaining me whenever I'm around the base with no problem, the rotation of the marble melon. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some marble melon packed in this thing, get some food and water, and we will hit the road. You all hold on. All right, we're going to get this thing going. I figured we might as well record this to see how awesome of a pilot I could end up being. Um, it feels like we got stuff there, countermeasures. So we took it launch them. We have to go over there and click. Silent running. I'm not worried about that now. Oh, this is, uh, oh, this is the cameras. This is the keel. Okay, to toggle camera line. Okay, there we go. Can I put these towards the front? Is that the, that's the back. So if I do this, I don't know if this matters or not. Okay, and then we go to this camera. This light there, okay, and then there we go. Let's just get out of that. Let's... I love that it has a horn. So it should be over there. This is where we're going, right here, the alien trench. Oh boy. This is going to be weird. I wonder if the warbers can suck me out of this thing or not. I'm just going to try and be aware of our surroundings. Our power is there. That's fine for now. We're going to be building a, a cell charger. I need to make extra cells too now that I think about it. But for now, this this is a simple expedition with us. The first time actually really taking this out. No pressure whatsoever. Lots of pressure actually. It actually has a decent amount of uh, speed. It's not that bad, and I'm not going all the way. Whoa. Okay, we lowered this. We lowered the sound. Going down. Okay, I can see stuff again. Okay, we're not going down just yet. We're gonna go over this. Man, this is really hard to see at night. <laughs> There's no other lights, right? Uh, 
it doesn't look like it. Let's wait. There's lights on this, wasn't there? Oh wow. Okay. So this will be interesting. I know there's no like, oh, there is a big boy on the way down sometimes. Can I control this while I'm looking in the cha at the cameras? Uh, toggle camera light. Uh, cycle camera. All right. So where is this one? This is the screw. This is the keel. Okay. Oh, I can. This makes life a hell of a lot easier. Oh my god, this is way easier. Way scarier, too, now that I think about it. <laughs> okay, we're moving on down. We're about to get into the trench hole. I really am glad the camera light is as powerful as it is. I wish we had stats while we're on the camera, though. I guess that's part of the, supposed to be one of the drawbacks or something. All right, so we need to line up with this. That's the wreckage, I think. All right, be careful. It looks like this is not the hole. Okay, I need to be able to see this better. So this just rotates, there's no, oh, we've already committed, okay. Oh, this gives me warnings. Oh, nice. I don't feel good about this, actually. <laughs> uh, let's look again. This is not good. Uh, we need to move out. At least it gives us these pings. I really like that. Is there another spot here? I don't want to sound the horn. Thank you very much. This looks a little bit more forgiving in here. A little bit. I didn't say it was forgiving. Let's try this out. All right, let's go down. All right, seems okay for now. All right, there's more room in here. So I think I need to turn around. Let's do that from the other screen. This is not going to work the way I would hope. And this is a good way to get stuck. I should have rearranged when I was up top. So if I go like this, is it a better turn radius here for us? Now if I back up like a big truck, it, I don't feel like, no, stop. Okay, we're going down some more. Huh, that's interesting. Um, I guess I should get out. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless right now, guys. It's kind of intense right now getting this thing going down the hole. And then I'm thinking about trying to get it back out. Where's our warnings at? Okay, this thing is a long boy, too. And where are we trying to face that way? So we are faced exactly the wrong way. Um, if I go, there's no real other way to work it out. I probably just need to rearrange. Let me go ahead and try and get this thing down here without an issue and we'll be right back. Okay, I got to the bottom, but I, I, I'm, I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> 
I, I feel like if I turn to go down in there, it's going to be really hard to turn around this whole Cyclops to get out. So I pulled right where the thing is at near the outpost itself. I feel like this is a nice little compromise right now. So I get more comfortable because this space in here is not big enough, in my opinion, to turn around. And I don't want to do a backing up job with it with the way the turning does. I was just trying to keep it like exactly parallel with the sides. So we're, we're just being careful. And this jump module is clutch, y'all. Oh my God, this is awesome. So we have the new depth module. We have the jump module on this thing. Oh my God, I can... Yeah, this is definitely clutch. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. So I'm wondering when I get down below if I'm going to be able to... Hmm. Well, before we get all that, let's go ahead and put our chargers. I might just put them in here. Because the other rooms are getting kind of, you know, stacked. So we have the power cell charger right here. Maybe like that. And that'll clear up some room and it'll also give us a way to charge. And don't I have one on me? It do. It's at 53%. It's charging now. And then over here, we're also going to put a battery charger. I need to make excess batteries and power cells and just kind of keep them in all the places, I think. So when I'm in need of it, I just change it out. And there's that one, so we're good to go. We already have our fabricator here. Wait, we already have fabricator, so that's good. We can grab some crunchy times right quick while we're here too. I am really excited though that the the cyclops can actually hold the um, the grow the, the indoor um, planter because that's super nice. And I always grab uh, grab three, cut one, regardless of how much food I need, just because it, it grows back so quickly and it lets me put back in all the seeds that I just get. So. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and, and get to it. Um, I think I'm going to put the drill arm on and have one grappling hook. Save. <laughs> All right, let's get some exploring done, guys. Because I think there's a way further down through these holes we're finding. Because there was one part that looked like it went down even further. God, this jump, this jump thing is nice. Let's continue into the abyss of this place. Oh my God, this jump is amazing. I thought there was more down here. Huh. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to do some searching. There's Okay, we're back where we came from. Let's try a different pool. I thought I had... Oh, maybe it was a pool over here. Yeah, this jump module is, is, is definitely... I've been using the word clutch a lot lately, but this jump module is clutch. Is there any holes here? And this is the bottom of a hole. Okay. So let me just start exploring a little bit around here, I guess. And uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, I've been searching around and I went to the center fossil thing where we went to the, where we found the alien research hole that direction. And there's this up here. I wonder if this leads to, oh, this is different looking. Oh, look at all the, look at all the, the rays or whatever they are. Is this, what are these holes? Okay. Can we get down in this? Oh, we can. Okay, it's like another brine thing. Okay. Interesting. I'm stuck on the ledge here. Okay. That tree looks amazing. Did we look at this before? I don't remember. Whoa, whoa. Dude is... Are you alright over there? Can I scan this thing? Is it safe to get out? Okay, it's safe to get out. Can I? Yes, I can. Giant cove tree. What if this is the thing that's causing like the 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 the, uh, the bacteria that's, that's killing us? Super interesting. Oh, what's this way? 
Can I use you to fling me? Maybe when I get a little closer. When it's too late, doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> let's get the stamina. Let's get our stamina back. Let's get our, our jetpack fuel back. Let's jump. It's over here. God dang it. You play too many games like wrapping hooks in them. You then again, I've talked about this before. You expect different kind of results and reach and whatnot. So it. And that's bam right there. Can I get up right there? Thanks. Thanks. No, let me get up. Let me get up. God dang it. All right. Is there anything over here? This looks deaf. Oh, it goes down here? Oh, this looks like this could be... Oh, it definitely goes down. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. I would assume that the pools are not where we need to go into. Now I think about it because it should just drain. Well, it might have a little spillover somewhere. I don't know. This, this goes down even further. Okay, we're at almost a thousand meters down. There's no way I get a Cyclops down here. I'm glad I brought food and water. <laughs> oh god, I gotta get out of here too. We might. This would be a great place to set up a. Oh no. Oh, what is this? What is. Okay. Oh God. There's the mushrooms there. Wow. That's different. Where are you at? I'm going to hit you if you come at me again, man. Oh, wow. Is there stuff down here we can get? Doesn't look like it there. I mean, we just got in the zone, so... Wow, I'm kind of speechless right now. Is that, that's one of those sucker things. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay, what's further down? I have to be really careful here. There's lots of the acid mushrooms. Gotta hope I can get out. I mean, you gotta explore, gotta explore, right? What is this? Is this titanium? Okay. I guess we could use that to actually get a rudimentary base together at first. Oh, there's... Oh, that's a... Is that a different type of one with the... I don't remember... I don't know. What's this? That's just a shale, okay. Wow, this place looks... It's, it's, it's not as... I don't know. There's lead here, too. We could potentially get a base up here. Like, we need gold and stuff like that, though, so... Probably would set up like a miniature base, and then I'm assuming that the depth that we would need more whole integrity to do any type of expansions. What is that down there? Is that just dried stuff? Is that a resource there? No, it would tell me I could drill it. What is that? That's just more stuff, okay. I'm getting deeper and deeper in here, too. What is that? Can I get out without dying? Okay, I can. What is that? Is that? Oh, that's nickel, isn't it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's good to know that we can get out of this. I assume in the... Is that a beast or that's just the environment making that sound? This place is amazing. <laughs> I like all the lava. There's copper here. What is that? Nothing. There's more titanium. I hope. I wonder what kind of leviathans might be down here. These look amazing. My food and water's holding up okay, and we have a decent amount of power. I gotta pay attention to that. At least this is pretty linear so far. Across the bottom. No, 
No, not down in the hole. I don't think that's a good place to go. Well, I guess putting in the thermal thing would be good for this for charging, um, for this particular reason. Um, but I wanted to have enough storage too, and this is not a good thing to see right in front of you. What is that down there? That's just more. Trying to avoid that guy. Does it go down further? All right, at least I can tell where I need to go back up. There's some quartz here. Okay, there's some more titanium. It looks like there's like a lot of fundamental stuff. Like we could get a at least a basic like mobile a mo basic bay up or something like that. But I don't see anything else to get it powered other than thermal vents. So we have to come down with the stuff for the thermal. I guess if we find a thermal vent, is there the thermal thermal vents down here? This is very intriguing. I don't getting a cyclops down here and through that method. I don't think it's going to be the way to go. Drilled him right out of here. Those are different mantas. They have like eyeballs on their shoulders. Is that considered a thermal vent? Because if that's the case, then there is easy power down here. Yeah, I'm going to guess that is. And so getting the other resource we need, the kyanite, this is not it, right? Obviously. What the hell? What is that? It's like a lava encrusted one or something. Uh, I'm going to get out and heal you. Come on. Come on. We don't want to mess around with this. Nice. Okay. What is, is that gold right there? Yeah, that's gold. I was hoping to find... I had to go... Oh, there it is! It found it! We found it! We're gonna grab that! Get out of here! Is that Kai Knight? That's gotta be Kai Knight. That's gotta be. Yes! Oh my god. That means we can scan it and then build a, a base kind of in the entrance of this area. And not picking it up or something? Am I not getting any? Oh, there we go. So we got three. And what do we need? Uh, we, how much are we going to end up needing this stuff? We got to make bars out of it. I wonder how many it takes to make a bar. Uh, derba, 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 derba. Uh, we need it to be like upgrades and stuff. Um, like, is there any of these? As far as the precious is for the Cyclops. Uh, was there anything in here? Sema sonar. Determinate perimeter defense. Uh, I was looking at stuff before. I forget what it was that we needed it for. I'm sure. I, oh, upgrades. They were for upgrades. There you go. Prawn suit. Def module that. Well, how deep are. Oh my god, we're almost too deep. So we were able to get that at least. Uh, my God, that is, this place is very lava rific. There's another one over there. There's two over here. We're gonna grab those as well. Wow, this place is cool, and I really like the model on this. Okay, we got that. So it's just a random chance on these, or am I only gonna get three? Am I gonna get five? Yeah, there's nothing from that. There's another one right there.
Nothing there. Yeah, I don't know if I want to come down with this Cyclops, to be honest. I'm sure there's another entrance to it. Okay, we got four of it, so that's seven so far, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That jump is super powerful. All right, I'm going to collect the rest of this and try and head out, and uh, we'll be back. All right, we made it out of there. It actually was pretty easy. I came across some more kyanite on the way out. Let's get up here. Please. Let's go back this way, please. There we go. Nice. And made it the way out. Looks like we've got a lot more crystalline uh, sulfur down there unlocked, but uh, let's check out the storage. That's... No, oh, it's straight up. There's no bars made. It's straight up just kyanite. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, we'll just take all that. I'm going to scan that stuff, too. So we can have it in the scanner, because I think next time what we'll do is get down there and make a base. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, again, I'm not really comfortable bringing the, the Cyclops down there, to be honest. As nice as it is and stuff, like, traversing through all this to get that, it feels like, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know, like, you know, if we have, like, moon pools set up and whatnot, eh, I don't know, like, full, like, I would have the death module and then the full storage on the Seamoth and transfer from that or something i know it'd be nice to get the Cy cyclops but i just feel like the 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 way to it just feels like you know what i'm saying like to get through that thing i think i probably end up destroying the cyclops before i'd actually get anything out of there you know what i mean so what does that mean why with the cyclops i don't know but you know what i mean i don't know you guys let me know down below um but i feel good about what we've got and let's take a better look now since i'm not in the middle of nowhere uh we can see what we have so the prawn suit takes three of those is there any other things that, that take kyanite? There we go. There's a Cyclops death module, Mark Three. Okay. So there's the Mark Two, which you've already done, I believe. And then we did the Mark One. I don't know. We, I'll need to check and see. But we have the stuff to make that one if I, if I haven't. Uh, I don't think I did, actually, because I didn't pull out the death module. So we need to make two and three for that. We could do that at least. I'm still not comfortable beyond <laughs> that stuff there. Uh, launch platform. Okay, that's something I can already make. And I don't think any of this stuff really matters. I guess we need to go find a light stick and finish the unlocking that. And this is all the standard stuff. Yeah, that uses an ion cube. I'm sure there's more technology to find, too, I'm guessing. Reactor rods. I assume that those get depleted and we have to store them or get rid of them somehow. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing much else and needs for anything like that. Huh. No, I'm sure there's something else. I, I just need to go find more stuff. We do need to go. We still have another. What is it? Uh, not photo manager. This is all the things that are there. Beacon manager. It's one of the. Um, where is it at? Beacon, 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 beacon. I don't see it anymore. Proposed a Degasi site. I don't think I've been to the 500 meter one yet. We might need to go check that out next time and then build to worry about a base down here or something because uh, I'm beginning to feel a lot more confident with the prawn suit, especially when we have both arms with us and then we're not in, we're in an area where we can change out the arms if we need to. So that jumpsuit pack, the depth module, and the new death module, I'll feel really confident on the moving. I probably would probably need to go ahead and get some more power cells done too to get this thing all the way up, and I need to repair you because we don't want any boo-boos. But we do have our power, our charging stations up here. Actually, I have this one charged already. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it so I've got it on me at all times. I have like my one battery. We do have the kyanite, and that's a great progression. And that is the time we got for today. Hopefully, you guys are liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to slap like button. It does help me a lot. I really do appreciate it. This was super fun to explore. Uh, get some the, 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 that resource. I guess I don't know if that's the final other resource, but we got it, our kyanite now. So that's amazing. But as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.